Welcome back. I have another short video about Easy Mercurial for you. Here's a little project I've been working on. This folder contains a few source files. I haven't been using version control, but I've decided it's time I started. So I'm going to run Easy Mercurial and use it to open the folder. OK, what I want to do is open an existing folder and start using version control for it. Or to put it another way, I'll make the folder into a version control repository with my existing files in it. Now this is showing me some file names, and over here you can see the complete history of my project. It's empty because I haven't done anything with it using version control yet. This tab shows me what I've changed since I last committed something. At the moment, it has all my files shown in red because they're new files. They're files that Easy Mercurial doesn't know anything about. What I need to do now is choose which of these files I want to track with the version control system. Which in this case means all of them. Then I click Add to let Easy Mercurial know I want to keep track of those files. All I've done here is say what I intend to do. Nothing is actually recorded until I commit. So I could change my mind here and remove some files again without losing anything. But I'm happy with this so I should commit it, and then those files will be officially version controlled. Before you can commit, you have to enter a comment. This comment will show up in the history and make an important reminder of what you've been doing. In this case, all I'm doing is setting up the repository rather than changing anything. So there's not much to report. And now I have some history. I've added these files to version control and committed them. Now let's see what happens when I change something. I'll change one of the parameters in this file. Now you can see, going back to the Work tab, and clicking Refresh, it shows that I've changed this file. I can see what change I made by clicking Diff. I think the change is a good one, so I'm going to commit it. And this time, I can write something useful in the comment. And as you see, my new change shows up in the history as a separate change set.